Greetings, Warlords. Raj here. Welcome to Saga Thursday, the show all about the Skirmish Miniatures game from Studio Tomahawk. Today we're looking at a battle report. This is a continuation of the campaign between Monty and I. Monty is a little bit behind, so he has the initiative as far as dictating the terms of our battle. He has decided to return to the Ordenstadt board. We will be playing the ambush scenario. This is the one with three pieces of baggage trying to make their way across the table. The player with the most survival points at the end of the game wins. If you capture the baggage, it's worth an additional six. You'll want to refer to the Book of Battles for the rules on the baggage, but they're kind of like a souped-up hearth guard. Armor five, three attacks, and resilience like a warlord. You cannot use saga abilities against them. So they're pretty tricky to take out. I'll be playing the Pagan Peoples once again. Although Monty has decided that I cannot use any levy in this game. So I'm doing a few things that I don't really want to do. But I'm going to give it a shot. For the Warriors, I'm taking all Bow Warriors. And then I'm taking two units of Hearth Guard. A unit of four on foot with heavy weapons. And a unit mounted with Javelins. So normally I don't like Bow Warriors. And I don't like... Units of four hearth card, but we're going to see how they work out. The terrain is already set up, and we move on to the table in the first turn. This scenario is only five rounds, and your first turn is spent moving, so the game goes pretty quick. Let's switch it over to the in-game audio. Uh, deployment and beginning of the game. Uh, no uh, figures are deployed. Each player brings baggage. the units to the table. First turn, any point on their own board that is more than L plus M from the baggage. Okay. How about I measure? Yeah, that's and good. And you Perfect. put down like a little token or something. Here we go. And you are not fatigued as much as I'd like to start. We'll so, just kind of call it. Something like Close that. Enough. So I just move everybody on, right? And then yep, that's it. I've got we determination no and um, we obey to do a double move. But otherwise, that's that's it, right? Yeah, that's true because you're moving diceless. Good point. Okay. So you just put the stick down, and then that's how far you move. Actually, there's like a. I do like that we have nicer models this time. Yeah. I was always just using peg and rose, mostly. Well. I mean, my Crusaders, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they look a little more Crusader-ish instead of the Norman and Norman mm -hmm. models I was using. So I've got four units of five archers, unit of 12 archers, and then two units of four archers. So this just means the starting point has to be over here, so I could like go like yeah, exactly. Like you this. can intrude in, yeah. yes, of course, absolutely. Okay, that makes sense. That's see, that was the thing I was trying to lock down. Yeah. Uh, How did your game with um? Oh, I'm going to get it wrong. Sir Sir Didi um from Moscow go? Arthur, yeah. Ah, uh, it was good. It was yeah, Arthur. I lost. But uh, we'll we'll talk yeah, about good. we'll talk about it, um, and um, if we just played straight up, I I would be very confident in a second game on how to how to do Vikings against the Anglo's. Um, yeah, yeah, boss yeah. Man, that's so he move. plays them very crisply, and when I played them, he rolled a helmet or more than one helmet every single turn. Raj, one reason I eventually sold my Anglo-Saxons is for whatever reason, the dice gods hated me and my, my levy never got to become warriors because I play <laughs> whole games, whole games, and wouldn't throw a helmet. And that's like one of their juiciest, best abilities. Yeah, I think, and the way that he plays, he can, if you get the helmet, go. If you don't get the helmet, overactivate the archers. Yes. So I didn't kind of understand the dynamics of that the first time. Um, so 
uh, yeah, use yeah. We Obey to activate this archer unit a second time. Got it. Which gives me room to bring on the 12 man. Something like this. Get into it. So I won't be able to do a sneak attack until turn three. And it might be too late by then. <laughs> might be too late by then, Monty. Hmm. <laughs> All you're getting from this side is silence. Yeah. But... I'm gonna I'm gonna well, that's impossible. I'm actually not gonna do that. I think you'll harder. be getting more than silence. Okay, I'm done. Nicely done. Okay. Um, so, and then, um, um, I should point... Just to let you know, so for the uh, campaign, I upgraded to the second level of heroism on my warlord. Okay. So I've got yep. three heroism tokens, and after I roll an attack or defense dice, I can add a plus one to it. So... Wait, sorry, I missed the last part. After you do what? Um, so for each heroism token, after I roll an attack or defense die, I can look at it and choose to add one to the roll. So I can do that up to, with up to three different dice rolls. Does that make sense? Because I have three dice heroism rolls. tokens. So is it is it a plus one to all the rolls? No, it's just one die. So I'm going to look at okay, one die. It's, it's actually pretty powerful because I can see what the dice is. And, you know, if I'm blocking on fives, you know, if I roll a four, I can just be like, oh, okay, I'll just turn that four into a five after the dice roll. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't change any of the fundamental abilities or powers of the warlord like some of the other ones. Just just makes me luckier <laughs> yeah exactly and i i um i only did the one upgrade i was a little i was trying to get the staple set so it is i can once per turn instead of a rest or take a rest and add a saga die mm -hmm. uh, but now that i'm running the orden stop board if i kill my own troops <laughs> which is the big if i can always uh i can always add some dice but you know what? I struggled on, on what build uh, to use for this mission, and I'm going to just try something that I have not tried, and you know what that what happens with that. This is an experiment. So here we go. Uh, we are yeah. going to... This is, this is counterintuitive for me. This is not a build I would normally do, honestly. I went with the very expensive 12 uh, Ordenstadt crossbow warriors. With wow, one of them nice. being a banner. That's why there's a the little token okay. in there. I do have a banner um, in my 12-man unit. Ah, as great. Well. So great. I'm okay, so we both have the copy. same thoughts. Uh, uh, I got Turkipole Mercs. I've got, uh, here's my four-pack to get me to two points. So that's three points, four, five, six. I don't love going on foot, but I don't love dying to shooting. So we're at least, we're going to, that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. I have concerns, but I'm going to just stifle them and get on the board. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do here. I think the concern is just basically the pagan people. Okay. Well, the carts are going to move again, right? Oh, yeah. You got to do that first, right? Because okay. then I got I can't be within 18 inches on this one here. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I'm not going to be able to get it. This one's chugging. So middle one moving. The other one's staying put, so I'll, oh. just, I'll just move it on. This the is interesting. Here. It's already chaos is, is the, ruling the day. This. Now I'm not 100% sure what to do, because that right. one pushes me out, and this one's lagging. Yeah. If oh, you wanna, my. You want to measure yeah, it from yeah. that corner? So, here we go. So I'm going to do this now. Um, How do I do this? I do... I'm, I'm measuring then, from the corner there, so you can. Put oh, you were doing down. the corner. How do you do that? There you go. Look at that, pushing me, pushing me pushing way you back under your heel. Okay, that's it. I'm on. I mean, I'm on it. So let's do full tilt. Yeah, turkey poles. 
Good for this yeah, one I once think, again because you get uh, I might. some additional activations there. Take some shots. Yeah. So it should be out. Out of so out of range. Out of right? range. Does the table if we followed the me. yeah, if I didn't yes, push them over right. a little bit. You moved bit in for twelve. Advantage. I move in twelve. There should be a uh, just outside yeah. of twelve inch. So gap if you the get the warlord us. to activate them yeah, for another move, then you could I don't do it. Don't but, know if I want to throw them away yeah. like that. I think I want to find a different way to throw them away. Mm hmm. I hear you. I hear you. Um, hmm. well, if we if we come in this way yeah this is the downside to player number two you got to figure out how to get on the damn board and your cart is all the way over here and there's perfect ground for you to get over there and get it oh this is already kind of okay let's just deal with this yeah, we're fine with this. Turkopole's lead. And I'll just, I can't see the angle's kind of bad, so I'm going to just know that we're outside of 12, but we're ready to deal with those shenanigans. Mm -hmm. uh, let's actually, yeah, I don't like the bow can start coming in. The cart's coming this way. Uh, let's, hmm. 12 pack is coming up. That's going to take a minute. Yeah, let's just leave them as a big screening force. We'll, we'll deal with whatever happens. And then six inches, we'll bring in our. Turn these guys around so they're at least facing the right way. They look a little modern to my eyes, but just squint and you won't see that. I think they have fire fire locks, you know, firearms. All right. <laughs> I know it's fine. Uh, yeah. Plus here, hearth guard on foot. They just kind of look like badass fantasy fighters. They do look. They do have a certain fantasy flair. And uh, yeah, he might have pilfered like the Warhammer. I'm assuming there's I, I think, somebody has I think Warhammer. They did. I think they did, honestly. Just check something here because this actually really matters. So if I start you know, from the edge. So how do you draw a straight line? Like, you, well, it doesn't matter. That's fine. You move, I don't need to be precise. Yeah, so you're just within medium of the edge, the front guy. Yep, so I'm good. It has to be within medium, yeah. There you go. That's what. That's all I mm -hmm. want. So they're good. Um, let's do. Hmm. So if you do your little trickery, you hop in, you go over, but the cart, the cart is an issue. Cart's not moving, baby. No, no, it isn't, is it? Yeah, that's going to be a bit. That's going to be a problem for me pretty quickly. <laughs> Okay, well, just keep going here. Do so sure about that. Let's do. I don't really want to get fatigued because with your shenanigans, you an auto hit. But I also do want to kind of get my. I want to get going. Okay, for some reason, my warlord should have a slightly bigger base. Let me just. I thought oh, he was more than when I was doing my thing. He doesn't look very warlord like. No, although, are my up. bases. If it, he might have started bases, the same as the. Like a normal guy. Yeah. Do my bases make me look fat? <laughs> <laughs> do these look kind of legitimate in a way? I like the rounds. My Numidians are going on rounds, Marty. I just kind of... I, I think decide. that's smart. I just... Division so basically they're coming in off here and mm -hmm. just like you know you could you could see yep. kind of like you know they can they can get out there I think we're that all legit. That is important. And the, Right, and then the last bit is following the same principle. 
I, uh, this is really, I feel like this is the middle of the table, so it's pretty important to crush the gap. So we will do man. guys in here. Something like that. I think that makes this pretty legit. Let me just zoom in here. Oops. Sorry, dude. Flip you back. Okay. Flip you back. <laughs> I'm almost there. Okay. Ugh. Well, oh, I think that's it. All. I don't know, Monty. I think that baggage will be long gone by the time <laughs> those guys get over it. <laughs> so, so there's a free shoot, but I don't really want to do a free shoot. You gotta f do you have to shoot to get the move? Yeah. Or uh, yeah, I think so. I don't I have, think so. I don't yeah, have my book. So I got handy. no shoot. Unless I shoot at a squirrel. Okay, are we gonna use a wheel bay or determination? Or are you good? No. No, I don't want to fatigue to start <laughs> the game, so that's gonna have to be me. Alright, well we're going into turn two, as it seems. So I'm gonna roll and place my saga dice. And then make sure you get lots of ponies. Then the carts move, so we don't know where they're gonna be. So I'm looking at eight saga dice here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, if I had the levies, you know, I have a solid nine or ten, I would think. But uh, I'm not complaining. There's a horse. There's one horse. Um, maybe just reroll. That's all. One. That's all you need. So. Let's look at my board here. Well, a big part of this Ordenstat board is knock Austin. Knock so, Austin. so like the Anglo Saxons, if you can roll oh, uh, yeah, you got a little pretty zip. regularly, it it really sings. And I, I didn't really realize it until I played it recently. And I kind of had a, I was kind of in a jam, and then I realized Nakostin is written so that you can activate and then activate again with no fatigue or move and then play Nakostin mm -hmm. and have no fatigue. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty powerful in theory. And meanwhile, your pagan people go, yes, that's very cute. Uh huh. So you can activate everyone. The Turkopole defense dice bonus. That's just melee. Melee. Yeah, melee yep. Only. Sadly, it is so not gotta, shooting. So I don't think you'll be going into melee. I so gotta shoot him up. You might surprise me, but I I doubt it. You'll probably just shoot me to death. Mm -hmm. Probably just shoot you to death. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I think that'll do. All right, we'll pop. So these four are all on warrior activations up here, as you can see. But I'll start with Umber. I'll activate my four pack of hearth guard. This other four pack of hearth guard, and uh, this little five pack of levy. And I'll start with the levy, the rest. This hearth guard, I'm going to pop Her into in. the woods. Kind of saw that coming. I'm just getting closer. Just getting closer. We'll go six. Now, Cavs should be able to shoot at the midpoint of their move. That would be... <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Right, right, right. Actually, um, so, before I move, yeah, we got to move so the carts. So, you want to go? We got to move the carts. Oh first. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, and I was gonna, I was gonna say, did you want them to go six point one because we're just outside of twelve inches? You're not bow. You're javelin. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It doesn't. Doesn't matter. So that one's staying put. This one's moving. That one's moving. 
So I'll get this one right to move right part. Tab. There it goes. Interesting. Okay. Staggered so, start. Yeah, I'm not attacking with my hearthy G's yet. Um, they're just going to go up and then kind of over like this. Got it. So that's your that's your opening. Mm -hmm. All three units. Um, that gets the pony out of the way. And actually, I'm, I'm gonna pull them back a little bit more. Oh my gosh! Okay, you're gonna you're gonna come up and just shoot. Got it. One, two, three. This one isn't placed. Okay. I uh, will use we obey on this. Warrior unit here. I'm going to start by moving them six ahead. I might move them back a little bit once I measure how far away you guys are. Oh, that'll be good. That's fine. Okay, uh, we're going to use a dice to shoot. We've got three shots. Oops, I need to bring a die back. Let me do a control copy. Control paste. And I'm just going to pop Lema right now to get shoot two additional five. attack dice. Shooting at your mounted warriors there. So Yay. hitting on threes, I believe. And I'll roll the dice. Uh, two hits. This, and I'll have a fatigue Go. at the end of this. Okay. Oops, let me get, you know what? Why are these guys here? I should yeah. really clear them all out. Yeah. Good start. Great Delete. start. Money, no! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. These guys were expendable. Uh, let's take you, you, and we're down a saga die. Back at you. Okay. I will use a dice to activate that three, that little unit again. Sure. I will. Do a shooting onto the turkopoles. Okay. Three dice. I don't. I don't have anything else to to jack them up or anything. So. Uh, I mean, the I, do, I do have the fatigue. Gonna yeah. Active, yeah, you're gonna activate to exhaust it. So even if I raise my armor, I'm just gonna have to eat them. Yeah. Shoot away. Okay. Uh, Fire away. I think threes again. Two hits. Clear. Yep, got it. All right. So two fatigues on those guys. Okay, so the wagon does count as enemy for maneuvers. Yep, correct. But I'll move this five pack up. Six inches here. Move this five pack up. I will. Move my warlord over. Gosh darn it. Over a bit. I'll use a dice to activate the big unit.
of 12. Um, I might move them back once I set them down. I just gotta see how close you guys are. So I've got a determination and um, one last move. Can this guy get in? So close. Looks like he's just out officially. Activate this little five pack here for a moment. Let's keep my options open. Actually, I want to be more than four. All right, Monty. Mm. Goes to you. I got one orders reaction I'll use after you're okay. done there. Choose an enemy unit. Ah, yes. So you got one, two, three, four, five saga dice. Yes, got it. Uh, off to the. Oops, let's lock the board, shall we? Let's do that. Toggle lock. Okay. You wanted that shield, did you? Oh, you got a rare though. Or is the shield is the rare? No. The shield is the rare. Um. Well, this isn't great, but I really need that extra die. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you Turn can, one. So you can take a fatigue, right, to generate an extra dice because you have... Uh, I think it's the hero is take a rest action, but then that would be I'll need to feed a die into my warlord to get him out of the killing range here. Yeah, it's a, it a is second. a red. Yeah, so that won't happen until you're moving guys around and stuff. Activation phase. Okay, well, let's work with what we have. Here we go. Work. Oops, shit, that works actually. Maybe uh, work. That really, that's, I can feel I'm going to now hit the, uh, no rares maneuver. Uh, okay, why don't why don't we see what we can do here? Okay, you you all set? Oh uh, Jesus! I have walked into the Battle of Argentor, so here we go. <laughs> let's 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 start with. I'll pop. Uh, well, I'm gonna use uh, Dev's here. I'm gonna choose the Turkopoles, so they can suffer Good fatigue, God. or you could move them towards your nearest board edge, so they would just end up. Kind of over here somewhere. I'll take the fatigue. Okay, cool. And uh, what did you do for your uh, distance trickery here? We're within over here, but probably not as well over here. Um, you, I think you might. Yeah, you're just out over the, on that side. That um, but let's move the carts. Thing. Yep. So the one closest to me, it's chucking and uh, it's going to fall just short. So it's right there. Oosh. Middle one stays put. The other one. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! We can measure. We yeah, we can measure about. from the table edge um, where right. it should be. 
So with three, it uh, yeah keeps going. So it'll be twelve in from the okay. the table edge. So I will uh, just kind of start over. Here. Yeah, if you want to, and then do tab. Oh yeah, yeah you can you can move it. Or you got your ruler up now. So you gotta get, you gotta hit the oh, hand yeah, again. The ruler. Up. Yep. Yep. Man. <laughs> okay. Now we got it. Uh, should be about. Oh yeah, yeah. He's just because I know he has to be. He'll be, be like uh, the right next to his buddy there. Yeah. They can't decide Does if they should. Right, because it's two inches. Yep. <sighs> okay, now you can uh, let her rip there. Gotta think for a minute. Hmm. Because if I do a well, if I do a rest, the rest is not free, so we'd use a die for that, and then, then the sh shooting activation is free and the move is free. So I think, I think I'm okay. I was just you got to be careful, like with a composite bow, with the sequencing of things. So I think I will. Yeah. yeah, I think he's too. Well, they don't have do composite bows. Just to clarify. Right. No, no, they have regular bows. But no, the composite bow, like if you do a shoot, which is free and not fatigue causing, and then you do a move, they clarified that after the move, that is in fact the yep. second activation. Yeah, and that so is. It's I, a, I so I was just trying up. to puzzle out, like, with this thing. So we will use our die to uh, activate them for a rest. Okay. We will now do our shoot on your pagan people. Okay. Four dice. Hitting on threes, baby. Jolly good shooting. Uh, so that I, that I seems about them. right. <laughs> seems about uh, right. We will activate for our free move. Uh, I don't like that you're saving all your luck for the final game. I don't like it. You, you found a way yeah, to stash well, it. <laughs> Hopefully that final game is in this lifetime. <laughs> there we go. So we're uh, going to shift. Get. We're going to get shot up. There's just, this is... I've brought, I've brought a banana to a gunfight here. So <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Is that going to be far enough? Probably. Yeah, let's go here. So that's their free move. Let's activate. Yeah, I got to get out of this. Uh, get out of this place. Let's activate on my determination. Okay, come on. Tab. Up, tab. It's just there's not a good spot in here, is there? Mm -hmm. Let's just do this because I want to make sure I want to make sure he's within uh, We Obey of those crossbowmen since I oh, no sure. longer have a yep. die from that. So let me just see. I, that was 10 inches to there, I think, eyeballing it. Come on. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, he's going to throw his We Obey on these guys. Crossbowmen will come up. Um, and if you could put a stick between your 12 man and me, I don't want to walk into your killing zone on this turn. Looks good. Yeah, I mean, just um, by the rules of movement, I move twice, you move twice, it should be over 12 or, or 12 exactly. Yeah, so. Okay. Perfect. Um, so that's you them. You can get a little. 
good enough. Yeah, good. The little piece stays there. Um, we will activate these people. Boy, it's going to be a while till they're in the battle. I actually might hold that. Since I'm short on dice, I'm literally short. I'm already at five. I'm going to go ahead and leave these. I could might have a maneuver. Let me check real fast. Maybe for this guy. We well, could have yeah, a maneuver for that. Maneuver. For this these guys guy in the back, yeah, for sure. So we will these maneuver guys are just here. Down. These guys are probably too close. I don't really want to rush into that gap anyway. What I really need is, oh my gosh, I need the wagons to provide me some linear cover. <laughs> that's about all I got. That's my strategy. Yeah, that's that. That's me. It's me done. You're done. Okay. Well, let me, I just got to see what you got loaded up on your board here. Tyrants, melee, sword brothers, zealous works. Okay, let's see what uh, we're going to do here. So, Deves was burned. I do have whatever it's called, Ar Argona, Arcona still up. Still rocking the full dice here. So, I'll just pull that one and start rolling. Beautiful bean footage. Two horses. Oh boy. So I could cause some mayhem for sure. It's kind of tough though. You rely too much on shooting and yeah, you can just have one of those turns where they just keep rolling four ups. Um, one interesting thing here, Monty, is they're almost all on commons. So what as does, far as activ activating, well, I was thinking about overactivating the 12 man unit and it's not going to happen. Because this turn. This turn. I'll take I'll take a turn of not overactivating. Yeah. I forgot to you put will. something out here. Let me grab something. We will quick, use. Here it comes. We obey. Two rounds on of the two shots. Twelve pack. And we just want to get close enough to get everybody within range of the uh, crossbows. Oh boy. Oops. Really wish I could remember how to lock those. Yeah. Something like this. Oh, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Move the carts. carts yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. If there's an actual, here we go. So real quick, uh, they right. bang into so your unit and they make them exhausted. That was an actual roll. Sorry, I hit an F. Yep. I gotta look. So they're moving, six baby. Six. Everyone's forward. It hits and then it actually backs up. Should be kind of dang. Ah, that's fine. So these guys need one more fatigue, yep. right? Because the carp. You want to grab one. it? Yeah, or I could just do a control C V. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, we are going to. This is going to be like a. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what to so say. One thing is another thing. 
there's a way to uh, like change the color on these bases. I'll, I'll think about it when oh, I'm not moving. Right. So we could keep keep these guys distinct. Um, yeah, well, I, I know you can't have more than a unit of 12, so yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm betting on. Oh, dude, I can help here. Let me help. Yeah. Let me pick him up. Yeah, Get up on his base. Wish I could remember how to lock them on. But I've forgotten. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, we'll use a dice. So I'll have a fatigue at the end of this. To shoot 12... Well, I wish it was 12 shots. Six shots into the crossbows. Okay. Uh, do you you do have some ways to juice up your shooting, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'll pass. Hmm. Six shots. Probably gonna have four if I lost two. I could live with that. Oh no, I can't do that. Darn it! I have to put a fatigue on myself so I give you an auto hit. I will pass. All right. Zingy on threes. Uh, four. One. Not too shabby. All right. We'll use Umber on. The two five packs of peoples and my hearth guard there. Got it. So this is going to be movements. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get that close actually. Back up a smidge. Let's get some move up. Ah, the old flanking maneuver. Yeah. Something like this. Just want to end up in jab on range with all of them. Something like that. Uh, we'll do the free javelin shot. On the Turcos. Got it. It's four dice. Three hits. Got one. Again, Umber. Yeah, this is just this is just brutal, dude. Six activations on two <laughs> dice. <laughs> it takes a toll. We'll do the two five packs that moved up, and then oh, I got queued up here. Is there anything that coming? Up? Um, 
and the oh, there isn't much reason to do that uh, and a four pack of hearth guard so we'll start with the five pack here we got will it declare shooting three shots at the hmm. crossbows yeah, you know, it's just yep it's just not worth doing my little thing here i think uh i could go up to a five but then i gotta come back and i'm gonna have to rest them and you already have a die set to put fatigue on me in my turn so i'm gonna just eat it okay three shots Nice. Well, I'm getting a whole lot of archers fatigued close to your lines. Okay, the second unit will do the same thing on the crossbows. Uh, I will pop Lema on this one. So oh, that gets you up to to five dice. Five? Ugh. I don't like that. I think I've got to use Zealous Works. Okay. Increases wait. Your wait a armor? second. Wait. Let me read. Let me think of the sequencing. So your mm -hmm. one is if I, two attack dice, but you're going to get an auto hit. Oh my gosh. The enemy takes. The yeah. So hit. I don't. So fatiguing my stuff. Due to the timing, I don't. You're not going to get that this turn. Okay, you can't. That that's sense. right. Yeah, yeah, it does. So I'll eat the fatigue and go to a five. Okay. One hit. Saved yourself. One guy there. Good to go. Okay. The hearth guard will move back. Shoot and scoot. Shoot and scoot. I think we'll be even more scootier. Boo. Yeah, that's fine. Get one guy in. Uh. Take a fatigue. Well. I'm just pushing it to the limit here, Monty. Uh, I think you're just fine, actually. You just keep rocking those horses. You'll just rest all that off. And the Warlord can... Determination. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do, buddy? Have to deal with this. Oh, yeah. Have to deal with this. Oof. Have to deal with this. Let's lock the board. I'll do something like that. All right, you can let her rip. 
Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Saga die. Well, the upside is my Saga die did not get any smaller mm -hmm. at the moment. So still one, two, three, four, five. Let's go these. Grab these up. And then give them a good shake. Ah, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on. They're coming. Come on. Late turn. Late where turn. Is, they're coming. Where is my joy? Okay, well, uh, apparently Knock Ostin is not going to save me. It is not. That's the whole point. Have that lined up. Celis works up, I think. Kind of need to make a move. Uh, but the killing field is right in the middle of all that archery, so <laughs> grabbing the baggage with fatigue is not going to be ideal. Hmm. Well, um, let me just think about this for a second. One last thing. Probably going to be outside. Maybe. Maybe not, though. That's tough. Maybe. Shoot. I only have enough dice to do just a few things. Yeah, we're gonna have to make this work. Let me just double check, make sure I don't have any lame things set up here. That is good. That is good for my heart guard. That is good. This good, I guess. Oh, can't play that. Shoot. Dang it. That banner, that banner unit. I just, I'm split. I don't know if I try to take your banner down before you have a turn where you can just, you means your next turn, a fatigue comes off, and then you could take four shots to exhaustion. It's not good. Mm hmm. Then I'd be throwing my Warlord away. Because I don't have enough mounted to really pull this off. Okay, oops, try this again. Uh, 
Um, I think I'm going to see where the cards end up, and that will I'll just have to play it based on that. So, uh, my dice are set. Okay, I do have uh, divs up. Of course. Everybody's favorite. Um, now, if I use on a turkle poles, it's actually going to move you to this table edge here. Maybe you planned that. Maybe you didn't. Um, so I can put it on the crossbows. Get another fatigue on them. Or you don't have your move buff. Yeah, I'll put it on the crossbows. Okay. Okay. And now the carts. The carts. Uh, I'll roll this one. Stays put. Jogs ahead. This one on the end here, jogs ahead. They're making a break for it. Actually, <laughs> does that mess me up? <laughs> that, that, does, that does actually mess me How up. Are we That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad, dude. That one, this angle just cut me out. So. My fine plan is no longer a plan. <laughs> to do. Well, the crossbows just ditch a fatigue now, don't they? You got a, you uh, got a banner yes. in there. Right? <laughs> with, the, with the banner, they shake one. <sighs> Did we... Now is the banner a guy or he's he's not he's a the banner is a guy but a, by being a block sorry by being a block sorry he he doesn't that reminds me not to shoot him if that makes okay. sense So it is a guy so, so you have yes you have a uh, 11 or guys eight. there Oh shoot I don't know what yeah. happened there well, I killed I yeah, did yeah, shoot one Oh, you did shoot yeah. one. Okay, so then I have the right number. Yep. Delete. Okay. Let me delete that. Well, Sorry. I'll, so that's why I have 12. I'll do, I did this, have the right I'll do the same thing on my side then. So I'll pull one. Yeah, yeah. Off. It just okay. helps you just remember so he's useless. He doesn't shoot. You know, it doesn't have to die. He's just the wave in the flag. I couldn't find a flag, guys. So the question is, is everybody in for a shoot? And I guess we are. So we could. Oh, man. This will be four, so two turns. You're going to need to start grabbing some cards. I need to start grabbing some cards. Well, um, let's at least activate these lads for a move. them in play. Let's do a rest. <clears throat> Let's do a shoot. Okay. 
a six dice on your uh, pagans. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should be five dice. Oh shit! Yep. Sorry, sorry. Got oh, five dice. I five got dice. one in there. Yep. Five. Okay. So yeah, what? Are you going after down, the big unit there, down. or one of the other ones? Yeah, the big unit. Okay. Just looking gonna, for twos. You're killing me softly here. Four hits. Let's see what we can do. Four defense dice. Got three. Take the front guy. And then two. First blood. Right, finally. Let's do Turkopoles. Don't don't remember how we do here. Looks like the back two at least would be out, so it'd be three dice. Yeah. Or four dice straight ahead. I'll do the three on the big unit. Big unit. Sounds good. Where do I want to put him after I move? Two hits. Two saves. Okay. Turkopoles, you guys have not hit anything so far today. Uh, we want to stay they're, outside. They're hitting. I'm just blocking. Range. Yeah. Uh, you're grabbing the arrows out of the air. <laughs> uh, we will do a shift. Actually, how do we want to shift? Interesting. I need to think about this. I mean, for all the good they're doing me so far. Let me just puzzle this out for a second here. This is... They're going to be dead after this, so probably you end up here. I don't want to block that. They're activated for free. Maybe you do want to block it. Yeah. Well, no, because once I pick up a fatigue, those are just auto hits for you. Hmm. You're going to want to just plink these guys one more turn. So I actually think I'm going to use them to create a screen this turn. So we will go here. Nice. Here. Sorry, guys. If you can't shoot, your new job is to create a screen. Here. I expect you to die. Here. Here. Shoot. Now I'm all jammed up. Yeah, that's fine. Here. And then with my We Obey, I will move these guys here. So that they should be able to grab them here. Actually, they're going to move twice. They're going to move in your turn and mine. So I need to be more aggressive with that. Yeah, because they're going to actually probably end up with any luck over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's do this. Sorry. Tab. And my warlord, uh, that's not a great spot to be, but I think we'll just stay there. <laughs> I think that is me done. Oh boy, these wagon drivers just sweating. Running the gauntlet. Right? 
I think there was a movie by that name. It was not very good. <laughs> Clint Eastwood, 70s. Okay, well, I'll pull this one back. Pull Arcona back. I mean, I still got the full... Full saga, these. So... Let's roll it up. I'm gonna get my casualties out of here. Shoot! Three horses and money, it just keeps escalating. Deep sigh. I've rolled no rares. I have not been able to drive on the east yet. Apparently, we're feeling very uh, petulant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we'll pop Terra Avita. So we get plus Got two it. attack dice till the end of the turn. Grief, like you needed more. Um, let's do the wagons. Ah, uh, right. Roll. Roll. It stays put. Stays Roll. put. Moves. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Let you move it, yeah. Oops. Tab. There we go. Well, this is getting messy. All right. The banner heals one guy there. Yep. I will use Mezamate to move my four pack of Hearth Guard to my woods over here. Yep. I'll just set the edge. We'll use Umber Parama to activate my four pack of Hearth Guard. Go with in. the axes um, and the yep. two hitting on fours. The two five packs. Yep. Of uh, warriors there, so. We'll so in. the cart has three dice. Oh, yeah. And you have back. eight. Um, I get uh, plus two right now, so I'm at a ten. Oh, so you have ten. Something like that. Uh, okay. So you're hitting me on fours. I'm hitting you on fours, right? That's it. Oh, pretty good. Now, do you roll like two hits, double defense dice or something? Kill no, two. No, no double defense okay. dice, just straight up. Oh, you got two hearts. So, keys. Um, right. So, um, what do we got here? We've got four, five, and sixes. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Seven hits. That's pretty juicy. Needing fives and sixes. So. Uh, Seven goes to five, and you take it. That is yours. Oosh. That was that was uh, that was very effective. Big score. Big score. <laughs> right. That's where I need to be. That All right. Is where I need uh, to be. The five pack will unleash, unleash, unleash. Uh, would normally be three shots, goes to five on the Turco poles. Um, actually, they can all see that hearth guard. Mm -hmm. right. Now you get less uh, survival, you only get half the survival points, so actually, I don't want to be shooting the uh, Turco poles necessarily because they're expendable. Um, so I'm going to put those shots onto that hearth guard. 
I can see the front one there with everybody. Um, right. So it's going to be five shots. And, to get a five? Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I know you have a potential ability here. Let me just think if I want to pop mine or not. So you're just getting two defense dice, but you could remove a figure. Oh, you have another one too. Shooting reaction, gain of fatigue. Um, I'll just leave it at the five here. Mm, how lucky am I feeling? One or two. I could live with one or two dying. Yeah, let's eat it. Okay. Two. One hit. Come on, you're in. You're wearing armor. Act like it. Oh my oh, gosh! Oh, you well, got it. <laughs> that, that was tense. <laughs> First, he threw a one. My eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, second unit will be going against the Turkopoles. Got it. It's going to be five shots. Are you all right with yep. that? Oh, yeah. They can't do anything about it. Okay. I do have the fatigue Being, on there. You're going to leave it on? Uh, yeah. You know, your multi-shooting is just killing me. I need to let you fatigue out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take your shots. Five shots. This is ridiculous. Five hits. That sounds about right. Two, three, four, five. And watch how the wind blows. Spin, bastards. Oh, oh. That one hurt. it was bound to happen. Uh, let's think who's going to disappear here. Hmm. How do I, how do I care about this? Uh, one, <laughs> two, three, one more. Do I care? I, I don't even really. Yeah, it's fine. Five. Four. Okay. All right. Back to the board. Um, I did have to use a dice to activate my warriors for shooting. So... Did no, I didn't though. So my uh, did my big warrior unit activate for shooting yet? I don't think that they did. I'm having trouble. They have not. Okay. So I still have the dice, and I thought I already did something. And um, so they will. Yeah, they just use the banner to rest, and then they will activate. Um, looks like they can all see the Turcos. And maybe the one on the end here, can he see? Is there a line? Oof, right. To, uh, I should have saw this coming. Maybe I wanted to leave the... Looks like they can all see, yeah. So I would have... Uh, I could also shoot at the cart. Four normally, yeah, which will go to six against the Turcos. Um, so, yeah, we'll declare shots on the Turcopoles. Um, I don't have a fatigue. Um, Shoot away. You're not going to get a fatigue unless I pop. I think all I will be guys. getting a fatigue. So, so I'm going to add two dice with Lema. So, I'm going to go to eight. Oh boy. And I'm going to roll. Looking for threes. So seven hits. And you're rolling fours, so you never know what's going to happen. Three. Exactly. So oh, that's which, semi disastrous. Which one for us. do you want to peel? 
Um, Let me we just can uh, do a little of... measuring here. Yeah, we're screwed. So basically, yeah, probably this one. At least this hearth guard won't get a fatigue that way. Um, Sayonara. Fatigues for everyone. Fatigues uh, for all. Suddenly the screening idea looks pretty like a bad idea. Well, you won't have those turkables to kick around anymore. <laughs> uh, survival, so they weren't they weren't worth as many points. Yeah, as well, they, they were. killed no one. Oh wait, no, they did kill no one. Okay, uh, so we've got I Umber. Have just charged him then. One more time. We'll do my hearth guard here. Four pack. They're just gonna rest, so I'll peel that. Um, both. Well, might as well shoot. Well, the shooting's good. You kind of, Todd, you come get me or go after the wagons. It's, it's going to be. Well, I can't do both. Yeah. yeah. There's two little activations. So I'd rather have time. you, yeah, come after me. So I'll activate well, I, both I of them for a shoot to. again. Got it. Um, shoot away. So. This five pack will shoot at the hearth guard across from them. It's going to be five shots. I do have a fatigue. I will have another one at the end of this. This this is where I'm really up against it. I got to think for a second. Yeah, if you I do can't have... grab the carts, I've lost the game. So I have no figures left. Um, uh, take me to a six. Okay. And let's just go with that. One hit. Wow. Was, why, why <laughs> no, that was even spin? a roll. That was even a roll. Give me a break. <laughs> Gee, come on. Keep going. Okay, the other unit will fire at that same unit. Um, so do you want to do the same um, thing or? Yeah, see if I put a fatigue on them, then I have to rest them. This is just not. I've run out of bodies. Uh, go ahead, spend the fatigue. Okay, so I'll just leave that on them. So looking for sixes on five shots. One. Saved it. Look, I one of my turkopoles even jumped in the air. He was so excited. <laughs> Okay, I got Wheel Bay and the Warlord left. So we'll do Wheel Bay on this five pack to shoot one more time at your hearth guard there. Uh, what are you thinking this time? Same thing. Yeah, but you know what? So or help leave me it out. On there. Mm -hmm. You've used okay. So you went through all your all your. Yeah, my board's empty. Okay, you've used up your Tavarvar. Your big unit isn't going to shoot again. Don't I really can't afford to lose even really another figure? So I'm going to use Sword Brothers. I'm sorry, you go first, and then I. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything. First. Okay, Sword Brothers to sneak in my uh, two defensive two dice. Two defense dice. That's okay. it. Okay. Um, so leave the fatigue on or, or burn it to get to six? Uh, oh, man. I really I need every die. Let's go ahead and burn it. Okay. All right, looking for sixes. One. One. So I'll be rolling three, three. to block mm -hmm. one. Got oh, it with the wow. extra dice. Wow. Well, that was by the skin of their teeth. Okay, my warlord. I've got to go do the full six to do the bend. So. 
Uh, he'll just kind of go like this. All right, my board's clear. I'm still not totally sure what you can all pull off over there, but it's your go. I mean, you're gonna have a full board at least. One, two, three, four saga dice. Um, I got four on the board. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Stray. Uh, if you like where those four are, yeah. Yeah, maybe not. I mean, the problem is I'm going to be trying to pop the cart, so that's not going to be helpful. This will be helpful. That's helpful. Din of battle. Uh, only if I were to charge you, and I just can't. I'm going to be concentrating on the... Yeah, I'm going to be concentrating on the uh, wagons. So that's me. Okay. Oh no, that's assuming I, I rolled two yeah. or three rares you gotta, so far that has I, not happened. Uh, yeah, I so said maybe I'd Chances. probably leave at least so one leave, leave leave at least one of them. There. Yeah. And yeah, then, because I'm not gonna I haven't rolled a rare yet. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. it probably's not gonna happen here either. So here we go. Ta da. Oh, you got well, it. Let's see. Does this help me? It let's say let's say it helps me. So we're gonna do that. Okay, let me just think this through. I just have okay. a handful of moves. I'm going to refill gonna my uh, coffee right, right. while you're pondering. Yeah, yeah. And then I... I have returned. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of stumped. I'm not sure that Knock Ostin helps me when I'm battling for the carts. Yeah, you're kind of um, in range. Yeah. Right already. Yeah, so, so it depends on you. So I actually think... Mm -hmm. I need more activations because yeah. of the fatigue. Not ghosting. I'm puzzling this. Yeah, is if you're going for me, you go yeah. not ghosting. If you're not going for me and you're going for the cards, just get more activation. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. Okay, and then it's just one more turn after this, right? Right. Okay. So. Okay, let's see where the cart's in. All right. Uh, this guy here. It's chugging. It's chugging. Caught up to his buddy. And then his buddy, oh, he's chugging too. Oh. So, I mean, will these guys go off the board? Yeah, he, he could, could let him. He could touch. On my turn, that guy could touch. Well, I guess. Right. I, I think that's it, the game. If he, I mean, the game for him. And that actually creates a, a different uh, yeah, problem. Start for me. So each. Um, here, here, this comes off because of the flag. I'm sorry. Yeah. The yeah. Banner. So if this guy touches, which he should, um, he'll just be removed from the game. So um, just factor that into your calculations. Yeah. Sadly, I don't have quite the mobility I'd like. Pull this off. All my horsemen are dead. Nope. Nope. He's gone. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is you've got these guys ready to jump. I'm ready they're to gonna pounce. Be fresh. So you're going to have a wall of shooting, and then you're going to have your chance to swoop in and take it from me. So 
he's going to move twice, which puts him over here. Don't know if I can pop it on 10 dice, but if I do, I'll be fatigued and all your shooting will be on that. Then you're going to sweep in and take it and I'll have basically one turn to take it back. Okay. Let's use the Warlord's uh, termination for rest. Let's we obey these guys in. Start with like okay. that guy. Go here. Rest just kind of pile in. Should have been, been attacked. So that for us is 10 dice. 10 dice. Um, got three, you said, right? Uh, yes, three coming back. So. And I can't play anything, so why don't I move these guys back a little bit? They're kind of a little too close to the, yeah. the Vegas table. Let's get this back. Big money, big money, All big right. money. Big money. I missed with mine. Ugh. That will not be enough to do it. Uh, maybe. Three? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, could be here. Just got to make one. No, you got it. I think. Do they count as being in oh. cover or something? Uh, if it's being shot at. Only if it's being shot at, yeah. So he's resilience one. Oh, uh, yeah. So, so he absorbs three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. That was was not gonna. Um, I'll put some tokens down there for him. Just did not quite get the job done. Ugh. Well, guess what? There's one person who's within range, but if he goes in, I'm sure not going to be able to hold it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, you'll just shoot me off my pony. Charge me off my pony. I just don't even know. You've got one way over there. I mean, actually, if we move over there, take the objective, ignore this one. Just giving this a minute's think here. I just yeah, have a no few problem. Dice. I could pull. I could pull this. This will be big. Well, they're not going to do anything to beat up like this. So let's at least take a pause. And if I go get these out of the way. Grab them up. I'm going to die or shoot. Just it's a little late in the game for shooting. I think we looked and we were good here. And I'm sitting right in front of all those little packs. Yeah, because that's going to go off the table. So I think mm, that warlord, I just can't quite afford to throw him away. So I think what I'm doing is I'm going to, well, let's just double check. Do I have it? Oh, all right. Uh, it looks over 12. Well, that's it's a not, shame. Not touching on my side, so one, two, three activations. That's not going to be doable, so throw that out the window. Uh, if we do like a double move, Warlord goes in, but still I'm mounted, so there's just not much possibility of me staying alive.
Yeah, see, and if I did not ghost in, I wouldn't have enough dice to do all these things. Yeah. It's kind of tough seeing how this played out. You know, it's like my... It was pretty safe to take all these archers, actually, because you're kind of split. You can't just rush me because you know, you're letting the objectives go past in some way. Yeah, just very tough. So I do have those on a charge, and I think I might have to do that. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, Gosh, eleven is not quite the distance. Eleven is not going to probably do it. I mean, Monty, you can shoot the objectives, too, and you can just pick it up. Yeah, but so, so, dude, right? So, they're sixes. I'd hit them on fives and sixes, and they save on everything but ones and twos because mm -hmm. they're considered hardcover. I'm thinking this one over here, you know, I just need one shot to get through. Or, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You just don't know. Because, like we said, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, right. It's, it's I mean, counts I, as in I, solid I cover, take, yeah. Right. I just, and you're going to, the issue is you always have lots of dice. So if I, if I scooch over here, like this is a good one. This is pretty good. My warlord gets here. He's going to get killed quite easily. So you're going to scoop that up. So if I come out here, you have less forces in range to bear on me, but probably just enough. You probably mm -hmm. can shoot my warlord down and then walk up and grab the objective. So I... I only have a limited number of things I can do. We'll do this. We'll just, we'll, you know what? We're going to just gamble on the late last turn. Uh, we're okay. going to do a rest. If I charge in, I at least, uh, man, this isn't great. I really could have used an Osten a little earlier. Let's start our, let's start them up. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit of a traffic jam here. <laughs> Do this kind of carefully. He's going to have to come out like this. Oh, God, can't come on. I'm zoomed too far out. Something like six. Then these guys go something like... Trying to keep that unit integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, if I pop the exhausted well, the guys, five pack, yeah, or the yeah, the eight throws pack. fatigue. But you have a banner, so I think I need to just wipe them out. We'll go again. All right. Bring okay, them in. so this is the five pack. This yep. is the other These one. These three right here are the five pack. Yep. And. Oh, nice. Good enough. Oops. Yeah, that doesn't really do anything for my immediate mission, but here we go. Okay. Uh, five dice. I'm a five. You're a okay. three. Yeah, Monty, to change your cut. Did you already change your colors? You just highlight them, and then you select apply tint. See how I've changed oh. the base colors? So I can oh, how did you do that? Uh, you just highlight the unit, and then right-click and say color tint, and uh, apply. So I should have done that at the start of the game. So I differentiated these three: blue, white, red. Now, so yeah, good one. I will make sure to do that in future games. Okay, I've got eight attacks. I am fresh. I don't have anything on my board. Now, you've got two warrior activations. Did you already use Wheel nope. A? Uh, to, like, rest these guys or something? Or did you use the dice for that? Yes, I think so. I think so. Good grief. This is where a token I, would be helpful. Yeah. I'm... I'm I don't know. I am, Did they I have a fatigue? Need a, I need a coffee this morning, dude. So yeah. <laughs> keep you. Th thank you. Keep going. 
Well, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm remembering that right. No, because they didn't have a fatigue. Did you use a dice to oh, charge? Oh, right, right. So then I guess I might have a Wii Obey somewhere in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just based off the dice. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I think you did use Wheel Bay on them to get them to charge. So I'm just thinking if I want to use your fatigue or not. But um, you you uh, get the first opportunity here. Let me see what what dice you have or uh, special power. Mm. Are you going to use the dinner battle or? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't like dinner battle. That doesn't work, and that doesn't work. So we just uh, we're raw. We're going in. We we passed. You pass. Okay. Yep. So it doesn't look like you activate these guys again. So would I rather have armor three? You got you'll have twelve attacks, right? You only got ten on your little bubble there. Oh wait, did we lose a figure? No, you got twelve. Nope, we're still good. Yeah, so boop boop. There, that's a good number. Hitting on fives, I can hit you on fours. I got nine bodies. You have Slay the Pagans. Oh, so you actually can activate those guys. Maybe they have to be within an S of each other. And a shooting reaction. Um, I'll just leave you the fatigue on there. Okay. All right. So you're looking for threes. I'm looking for fives. Threes it is. Oof. Hell of a hit. Yeah, see, taking up the fours wouldn't have done anything after the fact I made the right call. Uh, but I did get five hits, <laughs> which you did not need there. Uh, but you rolled pretty yeah. darn good there. So I actually have to save a couple of these. Oh, these guys could be wiped out. Oh. That that blows me up of my plan. Son of a gun. Ooh, you killed them all, exactly. Um, I will leave. I will measure from this last guy right here. So nobody should care except the exhausted unit. So nice work. Yeah, well, I mean, there was supposed to yeah. be a second stroke with <laughs> there was, Slay the Pagan. There was casualties. I have no one left. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Uh, okay, take a deep breath. It's all good. So, oh, my gosh. Well, well, let's just take away the knights. This, yeah, that was my, it's my in the pocket move. Mm. Well, the pocket just changed. So you're playing with really this on this side. Got him. Just think about this one more time. He goes here, and roughly, can we do anything from here? Nope. Yeah. It says there's a chance that this wagon won't even be here on your last turn. If it moves on right. mine, it exactly. moves on yours. Right. I mean, you know, I just, it, you deal with what you're left with mm -hmm. here. So, I you can see I was going to... I was going to try something, and then yeah, it's just not going to work, I don't think. But we got to try anyways. I think I have to use my wheel bay. 
charge in, but then who's going to be the two people who are within M? I guess I could do this, but then we're pretty beat up. Yeah, that that would well, that would work too. Do we just have it or nine? Yeah, I think so. Depends what you what do you want to do here? I'm trying to pick the two. I mean, that's a bit of a reach. It doesn't look like it's in. Just out by a hair. Let's activate them for a charge. Try to get that cart. Crossbow's going in! Yeah! This is what they were built to do. Awesome. So do you have this in mind? A charge with your crossbows from yeah, the beginning? As a, as a kind yeah. of fallback. I mean, I wish I could shoot them. Mm -hmm. we, but I don't here know, we you are. got the... Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Right? <laughs> I don't really want to. Ten attacks. <laughs> yeah. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. It is ten. It is ten. Uh, three on you. We need fives or sixes. Come on. Three. Be a okay. hero. That's better. Ooh, nice. Nice work. Uh, three hits on you. Three staves. And five on me, so I do have to save at least one of these, two of these. Two go down. Saved one, so the cart is yours, my friend. Nice. Play it off. Now, I never run a banner. I got to just stop. Yeah, do you want to pull them off? Only at the start. And the and if you activate the rest, which is your first activation. So yeah, huh? I'm just trying to think if it does me any good to keep the banner man when you have one turn. I mean, you're going to either pry it from me or not. So I think I go ahead and take the banner off as one of my two casualties. Take him off. And then we got this ah that last mm -hmm. one yeah and then they got a fatigue on them yeah right right Oh, did we already figure out this is too far away? No, I think it's in range. Just barely. Looks yeah, like I think, it's just I think it's just barely, yeah. If you get the stick straight, it would just be over, so. Yeah, so I think out of desperation, desperate times, desperate measures. Oof, man, Monty, what are you doing? <laughs> but I mean, if I just let you have this set piece battle in your turn, you're going to just take me apart. And I don't really have a good plan for chasing your pagan people. I feel like you probably will get them in cover and then you will cover them with one of the other units. So I feel like I gotta I gotta wrap this part up. I gotta get this piece. So with that in mind. Oof, that just really has me reaching down into the bottom of the barrel. If I keep them fresh, then after my warlord goes down, I could take it myself. Go up here, take a die down, then you'd be down to one, two, three, four, five. Oh, shoot, still six dice. That's a lot of dice. But I gotta make a play to try to take this.
Yeah, you know, not ideal. I think my warlord's going to die, but I got to hope my Ordenstadt Hearthguard can come back on the counterpunch at the top of turn five. So instead of using Slay the Pagan, which has kind of fallen apart, this doesn't really make sense with mm -hmm. everyone all beat up here, and this unit blood out, I got to go with his um, Termination and try to take it. Oh, nice. Cool. Well, I am exhausted. Yeah, well, I mean, so. it's not because you, it's going to be a pretty easy grab. <laughs> I think it's your turn. But we'll see. We will see. Okay, so. Um, you got eight on fives. I got three on I just, sixes. My, my other plan yeah. was I could do Slay the Pagans. Yeah, that's what I was I still could do figuring. Slay the Pagans if I fumble this one. I'm sure, yeah. But we'll see. Okay. Looking for sixes. One hit on you. Oh, that's oh, nice. better. Nice. Nice. Yeah, he's taking out some aggression. Yeah, he's watched his whole army melt. Oh, so that goes down. But oh, he takes shoot. a hit. So you all... Uh, so two yeah, fatigue two for me. On him, yeah. Not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't know that I want to. Like, I could activate the warriors to move. Don't know that that makes it any difference because your warlord's probably going to try to pop them and then I'd have two fatigues hmm <laughs> that's not going to help that's not going to help Yeah, pulling them back will get one more fatigue, and then you'll still be able to hit me, I think. Let me just one last peek. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so if I pull back, pull back M, front rank. Might actually work. No, no, it's from the front. I'm just having trouble seeing this in the in the digital world. Sure. Here. I can yeah. pull out if I, from my boss man. If that's who you're right, that's about. a better, that's right. official. And then let me do this real quick. So if I spend my last one, uh, pick him up just right there here. So then see if we could do four. And it would be one, two, three. Whoops, so too far away. Four. Is that is that something you could contact? Nope. Even at the four. Okay, I will do that then. Okay. So last die, yep. last I'll leave your fatigue on. Yep. Yep. Let me get another one. And uh, that is going to be my turn. Yikes. Holy moly. So I got one, turn two, five. Three. All comes down to this. Seven dice, yeah. Empty board. A couple more horses to round it out. Oh, come <laughs> on, dude. <laughs> no mercy. No mercy. Nope. Now you can hyperactivate. Well, let's see. The good news is, Raj, our games are going by quicker and quicker. Quicker and quicker. One day we'll come to the table and we'll discover that... Uh, <laughs> They've just played Oh my gosh, out, we don't yeah. even know what to play. You guys rolled so well, you won. Oh my gosh.
Yeah, this was a little bit of a missed opportunity for me. If I could have had one draw, knock Austin, I could have probably tried to steal that mm -hmm. and then make you spend your activation. You could do it, but try to grab all three back. Just put a little well, more pressure on you. I think this one won't be that hard. Why well, again? I think you should have went. I think you should have split your hearth guard, one mounted, one foot. Um, yeah. just just for flexibility. I mean, you say that, but yeah, every single unit you have <laughs> except one can shoot. Seriously. So so the mounted unit would have to okay. Yeah, I can count I can count my mistakes. I there there is a Orden stop player who is, who, you know, is very strong on the crossbow. And it's not that they've done bad, but they just they take up a point and a half this build. And I mm -hmm. don't know if I got a point and a half out of them. I think I'd actually prefer if I did this a second time. I think I'd prefer uh, to swap them out for, uh, let's say, uh, Javelin Levy. But see, Javelin Levy only works if I keep getting Knock Ostin, because Knock Ostin lets me, you know, kind of move them around and get their free cheap shoot each turn. Mm -hmm. And if I can't throw a Knock Ostin, then I'm not getting the 10 inches plus uh, a 6 inch shoot range. So they may not have worked in this particular game either yeah i just yeah okay i'll have to dice i'll have to have loki infect your dice and i'll have to dice quite well Okay, when you're done, Raj, you're going to see that I've got the uh, Orton Stott <laughs> bat sign <laughs> signaled. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Let's see if let's see if the if the uh, if the gods help us. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it will. This is the trick. Okay, we're going to do a uh Yeah, Marty, these. Yes. There's some mixed, mixed blessings here on your abilities for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I agree. This one actually is a strong counter with your stuff. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm yeah, going to use. I don't really like it in putting a fatigue on my own unit. Yeah, no, no, no. We'll do We Obey, uh, my Warlord, to rest sure. these blue guys. We will use Percons with those guys to charge into your two-pack of Hearthguard. Mm. Mm. Um, this I did not see, but it clears out the space for your warlord to do his thing. Yes, it does. So uh, I should be measuring it can matter. These guys just will not stand. Something like this. Ah, perfect. Those auto hits. <laughs> Here it comes. Um, so I start with five. Wait a minute. Dice. Actually, you know what? Yep. Because I, I let me have. I do yep. have one decision we, uh, point here. Yep. I'm going to close ranks. This is going to just be painful, and I can only try to save out of it. So we will close ranks, reducing us to two dice. Come on. Okay. Um, I've got nine attack dice here. Oh my gosh, because you've managed to power up yeah, with Perkins. Tara Avada. Pretty juicy no, ability. No, I, did, I did not use Tara Avada. I used Perkins no? to charge, which gives me four bonus attack dice in the ensuing melee. Ah, okay, okay, got it. I was so busy spelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're Let's at... Let's get all uh, this stuff out of the way. Fives to hit, 
currently. Uh, so yes, I will take you down to threes with a fatigue, or sorry, fours, and then threes. Got it. Uh, nine dice here, so I'm ready to roll. This Gonna will, this will have to be, be good, good enough. Two hits. I got um, five hits on you. Should be plenty. Two, three, four, five. Come on, shield wall. Fail both. Uh, shield wall, and the survey says roll like madmen. Ugh, nope. Gone. Got him. Well, you Kaboom. killed my two. Yep. Take out this Seems guy. like a fair trade. Two for two. Unit down. Wow. That, uh, yeah. Not good. So unit's gone. That's a point lost. That's a point. Yeah, I'll use Umber Parama. I'm going to use it on my little hearth guard unit here, the two pack. I'm just going to move them into the woods. I will use on the second unit will be this Pagan People's unit here of with the fatigue, the five pack mm -hmm. will declare shots on your warlord. I sure. Three shots. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not going to use any. Your... I'm not going to declare yeah, I'm ability. Yeah, take my armor up with your fatigue. Okay. So you go from four to five. Anything else? No. One hit. Do do. Oof, this would not be good. I think I would have to. I don't want to be exhausted when you come in, so we'd really like to block this. Uh, what you do? Well, this guy is shit. just within. No, you block. Four's a block, and I shoot, Monty. Oh, you're blinded. Uh, Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Yes, it is a <laughs> And then the last one is my hearth guard unit. We'll charge your warlord. Coming in. So he's in. This guy can cut an angle back here to get within six of the first guy. So we should not have any issues. You got javelins. You got a plus one. You got fatigue. It's looking pretty, pretty good. He's got a... Try to touch. I don't think we'll be holding on to this much longer. Yeah, but he did his job. At least it didn't go off the board. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've got eight attack dice. Uh, I have. There we go. You have eight as well. We are hitting each other on fours because of the javelins, right? Correct. Um, how many of your little buddies are here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is tough. My ability would help fatigue you up. You'd have two. That at least increases my chances of doing something next turn, even on just a couple dice. Okay, you go first. What have you got? Uh, yes, you have use... that. Of course you do. I use uh, Savutamatan. Whatever. Savutamatan. I can reroll. Half my dice, which miss. Uh, I will go ahead and use Dinner Battle to place a fatigue on you. It's not going to help me now. 
It'll help me next round. And you must reroll all your defense dice, which cancel a Yeah, hit. so this should go really well for my warlord. <laughs> right? So okay. he's, he's doomed. Keep going. Okay, well, I will pass. Hmm. Uh, and I'll pass. Okay. So you're looking for fours. I'm looking for fours with a couple rerolls here. Let's rock it. So I missed with five. So I'll reroll these ones right here. So I end up with five hits on you. I have three. Three on me. Probably not That's the fun. devastation you were hoping for. I fail three. And I block one, and I'm dead. I don't even have to do my reroll. So, let's put one of these here. You get this. We're gone. I will have a second fatigue on. So you, Defender removes first, so I can remove three models. There's nobody touching, so I'm going to leave one back there. Okay. I will use my Warlord's Determination to move. Uh, hold up. I'm going to come at it from a different angle. I'll go six. And then six. And then I will use Cure to Charge since I'm using. Uh, rare on it, it doesn't generate a fatigue. Ugh, well, this I'll part I didn't into your see. Crossbows. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, I got eight attack dice. Just too many horses. Too many damn horses. I only have five horses to begin with. But I saved no, them too many the horses. End. I'm sorry, too many rares. Oh, those those kinds of horses, yes. Yeah, uh, you those were making up for last free. time. So I I thought you were gonna have to come in with a fatigue, mm -hmm. at least. So. Okay, well I'm gonna drop this one because there's no way I can't. Yeah, this actually I think might actually be game. I, there's no way I can't. Well, unless you muff all your pros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I'm going to. Use uh, Lema to gain two attack dice. One, two. It's going to give me two auto hits on you as well. Right. Your armor is three to start with. I will take you down to a two. And because of my javelin, that's going to be ten auto hits. Good God. So with the two before... So that'd be 12 total. And then I will use your other fatigue to take my armor up from a four to a five. Okay. So you've got 12 hits on you and you're hitting me on fives. Not too shabby. Well, I will live it looks like. I saved all three. <laughs> Ah, uh, you saved. Saved some, not bad. Six. Yeah, and that's game. <laughs> I can't get him back. That was quick. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Well... Apparently, my uh, uh, SOS sign did not help me. <laughs> I didn't go out there. I'm going to I'm gonna have to find something better. Yeah. That was interesting. Because of the the baggage, I felt comfortable taking all archers. Because I kind of just knew it would siphon some of your dice and like kind of gum things up to where you couldn't just run over and start smashing my warriors up. Um 
Yeah, I don't know. Thoughts, Monty? Uh, I mean, I was uh, accelerated by quite a few horses. I will admit that. So this was my... I'm still early trying to use the Orden Stop board. I used it um, recently, and I threw Knock Sun on every turn, and it was completely different. It it just really it opens up some possibilities but i also this is on me um i made a last minute swap i wasn't sure what configuration i wanted mm -hmm. and um there are some people who are very high on the 12 warrior crossbow i'm always put off by the warrior crossbow because it's these um you know when i'm matching other people the levees are so much more efficient and mm -hmm. they die pretty easily so they didn't cost me the game but i would have liked to rejigger those points and uh you know honestly looking at an almost all warrior army i should have just ditched hearth guard and just gone all mounted just and just say screw it we're going with all mounted warriors like if you said let's dial this oh, up sure. let's play another game i just create a horde of warriors and i'd slip in something else maybe a levy maybe one mounted heart guard to go with my warlord on four mm -hmm. points but and just i could throw them wildly across the table um hitting you on threes and trying to get your dice down but i don't know that might be a trap too I, because the the baggage is really where it's at right mm -hmm. and and i kind of was hoping to get the second player's last turn of um dealing the baggage from you but i have no one left i had to push last turn because it was going to go off the table this didn't go well i knew i was going to lose my warlord but i didn't see this big play i didn't see you coming in with no fatigue i thought i could maybe steal it back from you in my turn mm -hmm. yeah i think having a a few more mounted or i mean because i had to move everything on so i had to commit to full archers before you even committed to any of your units um so you kind of had a flexibility in what units you wanted to bring on so i think a little a little two two foot heavy in your, your heavy hitters this time um I don't I don't know. It could it yeah. could go wrong the other way too mm -hmm. cuz once I start throwing warriors on horses at you, you're getting your tooled up shooting, you're getting auto hits, you're you could just I mean if I don't make my saves, you'll just shoot me out of my saddle. So I'm I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely mm -hmm. sure. But okay. this is just not working, the knights. It's just not working. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll throw this out there. Uh, do you want me to? I could play Eastern Princes next time, and still fit our theme. Uh, I'll let you. I'll let you mull. I need to crowd. Yeah, yeah you know, mull it I over. Need to crowdsource yeah. a solution. Maybe crowdsource. Yeah, mull it over. It's just the efficiency. The efficiency you get off your board with uh, six activation off of two rares. The all shooting. Oh man. Yeah, so, I mean, if it's the theme of the campaign, you know, I think an Eastern Prince's build is something that I would do with my my uh, in-person models, so it wouldn't hurt to play it. And then I do rate them below the peoples here. So, <laughs> the interest of uh, keep it, keeping it interesting. Don't, yeah. Don't forget, dude, you can also bring a war cart. The war car, it yeah. It could be this right here. Bring one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so, well, um, yeah, mullet, mullet over. Um, I guess. I don't know. And and switching between boards is perhaps. I mean, I do want to learn both these boards, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm kind of a I'm falling. I think for the trap of jack of all trades, master of none. I really haven't puzzled it out. This was the first time. Like, it's been so long since I ran the Ordenstadt against your pagan people. I realized, oh, this is a great play. Look, I, I raise my armor, but then you get an auto hit. So it's like your, um, <laughs> your llama, which you're going to play every turn. I play Zealous Works, and then you go, thank you. And thank then you. you get your auto Beep. hit. So 
Um, it's just no good. And then Sword Brothers only works on Hearthguard, so that pushes me to field, you know, Hearthguard. And these guys, that's that's a dead ability, Dark Crosses. Servants of God, I had no levies, so I didn't want to kill my own, you know, warriors to tune mm-hmm. this up. I didn't get my knock ghost in. Slay the Pagan is very good. Um, and then Dinner Battle is very situational. If you could get a rare here and you have a crappy like this unit here, right? Mm-hmm. I send them in, I play Dinner Battle, I dish a, a fi- on a rare, uh, I dish three yeah. fatigues. That's but then, the... you know, honestly, against this build, it's not like you guys really care because you could do three rests off of a rare if you want. Mm-hmm. And so you guys are pretty good fatigue eaters. So my strengths are kind of on the Orton stop board or a little flattened. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's my analysis. Maybe someone has some better observations. Do we yeah. want to throw it open? Two or serves only. Um, yeah, we can do that. And we'll cut it there. This video was streamed live on the Saga Thor's Day Discord server. So at this point, we took some questions from the viewers. Hope you enjoyed the battle. I'm sure Monty and I will talk about it a little bit more in the upcoming Saga Thursday monthly episode. Otherwise, if you're interested in tabletop simulator games, I've got a couple links below on how to get started. I have to say these online battles are starting to grow on me a little bit. Hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Saga!